I just want to have a good pizza. Oops, it's on the edge there. Sorry about that. I'll get it in a minute. I'll just have to close it. So this is. I'll just let it rise up a little bit before I do anything. So um, I'm using an Atlas peel. It is 14 inches uh, instead of the typical 12 inch. So hopefully that'll turn out okay. I'm gonna turn it in a minute here. All right, let me try and turn it a little since it's on the edge here. Just get it back there a little bit. I don't really need to turn it yet. Just want to have another minute there. Not a minute, but you know, a couple seconds. And there we go. than I normally have it, I guess. But it should be turning out just fine. Temperature's dropping now because it's just wood mostly. A little bit of charcoal. That's okay. Uh, I don't want to burn this one. I do not like to burn pizzas. I'm just going to leave the door open for a minute. Yeah, because this one's definitely cooking pretty fast, even though the temperature has dropped down to 626. And the crust looks really good. I would say I put a little bit of cream on there, so the cream may not, I may have to let it sit for a minute. It looks pretty good though. Let's see how much, actually it's pretty good. It's nice and light and looks great underneath, so I think we're good. I'll close this up. You can see that it dropped down to $5.99, but I am not worried because the pizza turned out great. So the shape of this one is not quite agreeing with me, but we're going to do what we have to do. And this is, again, this is a 14-inch peel from Atlas Steel. Let's take a look at the temperature before I put it in. Oh, got to pause for a second. All right, we're getting some good flame there. It might be more than I want. 602, but it seems like the temperature might be dropping. However, I've been making other pizzas already, so we're gonna put it in anyway. I think we'll be okay. but we've got a good flame so we're probably pretty good. Let me go grab the other peel just a second. And it says 590. We've got a good flame going on top though so 
don't always like to do it with that kind of flame because it'll start to burn. But we might be okay. And maybe I turn it a little early. I don't know, but I don't really like to have it burn too much. So, let it go for a minute. I can't even see it anymore. <sighs> the stone itself is already really nice and hot, so we're good. It's just a matter of getting the pizza made. Interesting pizza today. Just not <clears throat> cooperating exactly, but it's okay. Just gonna leave it open. Because we're cooking pretty well here. Flame is fine. I'm not worried. At this point, it's the third pizza, so we just do what we can with what we have, right? Let's see, are the toppings? They look pretty good, actually. Let's see. Ooh, right under the table. Yeah. Everything's holding together well. Definitely crispy, definitely nice and crunchy, and the underside looks lovely. Okay, I'll turn and close the door on this. I gotta go get my cutter to second. All right, so let's take this over here. Slide that in there. And everything is sliding off today, it looks like. And we don't leave much to look at, so. Looks good. There's the bottom. There's the top, it's holding together nicely. And this is with wheat Montana all-purpose flour. Thank you. 